Hey, hey, look who made it. Any problem finding a parking spot? Good to hear. I'm John Zadar. This is Tuesday. It is April 18th, and you are watching Tractors Are Us. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Don't go anywhere, please. This is On Top and Hot, where we like to talk about OTC and penny stocks that have the potential to make us some money. Now, if you've been following me here, you know that I've been changing up how I make these videos. They've been a wee bit long, about 35, 45 minutes long, and we've talked about three stocks. So what I did is I started talking about one stock per video. That definitely made them shorter, but I think it made them light, underweight. I don't think you're getting the best return on your investment. You're investing time with me, so I want to give you more than that. So it occurred to me, we are day traders. Now, I know we'll do swing trades, but I think all of us have no problem getting into a stock that's running up and getting out of it in the same day and taking those gains, right? So what we're going to do is look at the information we need to know. Honestly, how much information do you need to know to day trade? If you see the volume coming in and the stock price starts rising, the first thing you do is to run over and check the revenues out for the last two years. Nah. Do you check your credentials on the management? No, maybe you check the news because you need the catalyst. No problem there. I like reassurance. And that's what we're going to look at. We're going to streamline our DD so that we can look at more stocks, more than one, more than three. How many? We'll see. <laughs> so we're going to see what the company is, what the price is and how they're standing, what the catalyst is, and you're going to get snapshots, screenshots of the chart. So you have it all in one glance and you'll have enough information to know if you want to continue the due diligence. You ready? I am. Let's go. As I said, we are going to streamline our due diligence here down to the need to know information. What is the company about? What is their catalyst? And what's that chart look like? And I'm going to put it all on this screen. We're not going to jump back and forth over to think or swim. I'm going to put the chart at the bottom of the screen, try to keep the information up at the top so you can get everything in one glance. And hopefully I give you enough information to spark your curiosity to continue the due diligence. So the first stock we're going to look at is Revitalist Lifestyle and Wellness. This is ticker RVLWF. She finished the day at about three and a half cents with nothing gained, nothing lost, even keel. She is on the middle tier of the OTC. We call this the QB, the better tier. It's better because you have to audit your financials to be here. We want to see lots of green ticks on these stocks. Definitely the transfer agent verified and the verified profile. So this is looking good. So Revitalist Lifestyle, what does she do? Well, they tell us here that she is a mental health and wellness company focused on comprehensive care in the ketamine wellness space, offering innovative evidence-based services with physical locations and virtual offices across 28 states. I do believe that's 33 now. Revitalist is one of the largest publicly traded psychedelic wellness companies in Northern America. Most of them are up in Canada. Now I want you to see her revenues they are steadily growing quarter after quarter here, right? Getting bigger and bigger. Momentum is growing. And I can see we're overdue for one right now. And I'm hoping it's going to be bigger than the ones we got on the board. And then we've got some news that came out here. Uh, this was on the 12th, about a week ago. Revitalist enters a joint venture partnership with GCM Partners, expanding access to an additional 50,000 patients who want a trip. <laughs> they tell us here that Revitalist has entered a joint venture agreement with GCM Partners. The joint venture agreement expands Revitalist's virtual telemedicine services and supports offerings to patients to manage mental health and pain conditions, utilizing ketamine therapies or medical grade CBD, or even functional mushrooms. Service offerings will also include weaning protocols for patients wishing to discontinue their drugs that they are addicted to, whatever kinds they are. Now they tell us that they've got both brick and mortar buildings. They've got these in a few states, Florida, Illinois, Tennessee, and California, and virtual offerings in 33 states. So they have Money there that's constantly growing with financials about ready to come out. We got a chart that is set up to move and we have got a partnership that just came in a week ago. 
That's enough to get this chart moving. Next. <laughs> that would be yes. Well, almost yes. It's ticker YS. This is YS Biopharma Company. She finished the day at $1.60 with just under 1.5% gains. This is a penny stock on the NASDAQ and her price is over a dollar. So we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Now, what is interesting is that we have a designation that she is a shell company. I don't normally see this on major exchanges. This means she hasn't got any business. So she's not making any revenues. Well, we can see that's true. That's quarterly. There is nothing there. Annually, there's nothing there. Which makes the news that came out today the catalyst in so many different ways. They tell us here that YS Biopharma announces record vaccine revenues. Full year 2023 revenues increased by approximately 30% year over year. They tell us that the company is a global biopharmaceutical company dedicated to discovering and developing, manufacturing and commercializing new generations of vaccines and therapeutic biologics for infectious diseases and cancer. Today, they announced the preliminary unaudited financial results for the fiscal year ended March 31st, 2023. That was just two weeks ago. So we've got two pieces of information here we're going to look at because that's really all we need. They tell us their total revenue was approximately $103 million. We didn't see anything over there, but there must be something on the books because they tell us this represented a year-over-year -year growth of 30% compared to the previous year. We just don't see it, so there's missing information there. But in either case, it does say Shell Company up here. And now that they're telling this to us, I'm expecting that shell designation to disappear. And on top of that, they tell us they've got $53 million in cash. So they're not in bad shape. This is a catalyst with a chart that is ready to move. What we're doing is looking at charts that have that ledge effect. Now let's put you right on the edge of the ledge. You're teetering, you're right there. When I walk up to you, how close will you let me get? Will you let me touch you? Will you let me push you at all? No, you won't because you know there's a very good likelihood I could push you over. Well, that's the sort of charts we're looking at. So we don't need big catalysts. We don't need raging, roaring, hot catalysts. We just need a catalyst. Any push can make a hot chart move. And financials, money, shell status, these are little catalysts that can definitely get a hot chart to move. Next one. This is CIRC, ticker S-I-R-C, Solar Integrated Roofing Corporation. She finished the day at 0 .0238, just about two and a third of a penny, almost three and a half percent gains. She is on the pink tier. She's current, got those two green ticks, looking good. Now, as you've probably already guessed, she's into the solar business. Solar Integrated Roofing is an integrated single source solutions provider of solar power and roofing systems and EV charging. They specialize in commercial and residential properties throughout North America. Now, again, we're looking at the financials because this says a lot about a company. We see momentum building up here. Look at this. We're going from $9 million at the beginning of 2020 and at the end of 2021 you got roughly two years there you've gone from 9 million to 84 million it's a huge increase and she just keeps growing looking at the quarterly we don't get any information but don't you worry about that because you know what just came out their financials we don't need to go through all of it we're just going to compare we want to see did they do better because our chart is hot all we need is some good news well, there it is, 2021, they did 84 million. They just came out and said they did 158 million. Yeah, it's a little bit better, almost 100% increase. So this too has good reason to run. Next penny stock is ticker S-I-E-N, Sientra Inc. She finished the day at $1.88 with almost 10% gains. She has a penny stock on the NASDAQ. Now, what you're looking at here is the most recent news press that came out for this company. This is a plastic surgery business. Primarily, they work with breast augmentation. They tell us here that Sientra is reporting their record fourth quarter and full year revenues. 
They continue a two plus year trend of consecutive record quarterly growth, fastest growing brand in the US breast market. <laughs> that sounds terrible. So they've got over two years of every quarter being bigger than the next quarter. And they just came out with this report. So we know there's not another one coming, but they've ended on a good note. Things are growing. Matter of fact, when you look over here, they've already got it caught up. You can see over the last four years, they basically doubled their revenues, starting at 46 million in 2019 and getting to 90 and a half million in 2022. And that really is all the catalyst. But look at that chart, folks. That chart is beautiful. She is sitting right on the edge of the ledge, right? She only needs a little push. Now, I don't expect that this piece of news is gonna be that push. She's just on holy ground right now. She's got everything going for her. All we need is one piece of news to come out from this company, and she is over. And we're gonna see a nice run on this. Next one we're gonna take a look at is ASRE, Astra Energy. Astra Energy finished today just under 22 and a half cents and just about 32% gains today. She's on the middle tier, the QB, got all those green ticks over here looking sweet as cherry pie. Now this is a news press that came out today. This is the catalyst folks. Astra Energy executes exclusive sales, marketing and distribution agreement in the Republic of India for the re-green waste to energy technology. Astra Energy Inc. announced an initial equipment sale and the formation of a joint venture with Astra Regreen India, an Indian corporation. Astra will receive a project deposit of $100,000 and an equipment deposit of $1.8 million for the sale of the first 15 ton per hour regreen total waste systems. Upon successful implementation of the first installation, ARI is required to place orders for five more regreen TWS pieces of machinery. So this is it right here. They are expanding. I've looked around to see if there was anything else going on. There isn't. But what we got is a hot chart. A little catalyst on a hot chart can get you the results you're looking for. We got another penny stock from the NASDAQ here. This is FEMI, ticker F-E-M-Y, Femesis Inc. She finished the day at $1.26, almost 17% gains. And that was well deserved. She had some hot news come out today. This is a company that has created a product to help people with their infertility and it's been approved up in Canada. Femesis, Femesis Localized Directional Insemination for Infertility receives product approval in Canada. Femesis is the first ever first line approach designed to deliver sperm directly to where contraception occurs. Femesis Inc. is a biomedical company aiming to meet women's needs. Today, they announced that the Public Health Agency of Canada has granted product approval of Femiseed, the first ever infertility solution designed to deliver sperm directly to where contraception occurs. Femiseed is Femisys' localized artificial insemination option that is designed to be less invasive and more affordable than assisted reproduction such as vitro fertilization or intracytoplasmic sperm injection. I don't like the way any of those sound. We are thrilled to gain approval of Femiseed in Canada, now being able to offer a safe, novel, and affordable option for treating infertility. Our advanced approach delivers sperm directly to the area where contraception occurs, in the Philippian tube. In terms of Femiseed's availability in the rest of North America, we are progressing after receiving eyed approval from the FDA in the fourth quarter of last year. So this fantastic product that's gonna help couples who are trying to have babies and probably paying way too much to do it, looks like it's coming to America. So I think this is a great catalyst that's gonna give this chart some more run for her money. And that last one I wanna share with you today. Yeah, good things come to an end. This is Fire and Flower. This is a cannabis company. They have just made a deal with Alimentation Kush Tard. You might know them better as Circle K. Now they have had this deal, I think before down in Florida, but this one is all about Canada. They are building these Fire and Flower cannabis stores right next door up against 
the Circle K stores. So you have a one-stop shop. No, they're not selling the cannabis in Circle K, but right next door. And they want to do this everywhere because there are rules against getting cannabis in those sort of stores in most countries so far. But there's no law that says you can't put a cannabis store next to every single one of these Circle K stores. So I think this is going to be hot. I think they've already done this in the United States, but now they're launching, and I think in Ontario, Alberta, up in Canada. I think it's a hot catalyst. I think it's going to have this stock running as well. So there you go, folks. I've given you, what, six or seven? I didn't count. Different stocks, all with hot charts, all that have some sort of catalyst or another. Remember, you don't need a big catalyst, just a catalyst to push it over the ledge. Ah, and that's what we're looking for. Hope you found something here that interests you, that you're going to continue your due diligence with, folks. Remember, the more you know, the more you're going to grow. See ya.